Child care. Yeah. All right. Ending domestic violence. Yeah. Stopping deportations. Yeah. And increased funding for schools, human services, social security, and jobs by taxing the rich and ending U.S. militarism. I guess that sounds good to everybody? Yeah. All right. So speaking of ending U.S. militarism, did you know that Mother's Day started as an anti-war holiday? Yes! yes. Well, some people did, some did, but it's true. In 1872, Mother's Day for Peace was established, urging mothers around the world to unite for peace. This was the result of organizing by women's peace groups to bring together mothers of sons who had died on both sides of the Civil American Civil War. And by 1920, as the holiday was getting more commercialized, if you can believe it started back then, the original founders, the women's peace groups, were very opposed to the commercialization. So I think we can carry that spirit forward and reclaim Mother's Day as the anti-war holiday it was supposed to be. The sequester has kicked children out of Head Start, laid off teachers, public schools are closing, and special education is in danger. SOS, Sisters Organized for Survival, wants this picture to change. We believe in taxing the corporations that make billions of dollars in profits from our labor. That's right. Corporations, corporations that do not pay taxes and in some cases get refunds and state subsidies. We must just demand state funded child care, fair wages and benefits for child care workers, and more support for our families. So on this day, let's reclaim Mother's Day for the hardworking moms. That will make it easier for dads, for our parents, and for mostly for our children's future. Here to represent the Pacific Northwest Alliance to free Marissa Alexander. Yes, yay! The Alliance was formed last year after Marissa Alexander, an African-American mother in Florida who was defending herself from an abuser and was subsequently sentenced to 20 years in prison. Outraged at the injustice that she faces, this group formed to build community support for her freedom. As advocates, we are also using our voices and resources to bring attention to this injustice. As sisters, our hearts and prayers send love and hope in whatever ways we can to let Marissa know that we know she is not a criminal and that we claim her as our sister, embrace her family, and will not rest until she is returned to her family and community. The mothers are there 100% to support us, always there to talk to us, teach us and guide us to be the best that we can. We are here today looking and asking for better education for all mothers, for all women, to educate women to support our children, to our husbands, sons, and fathers who's being deported to our country. We deserve that right to have some education for mothers, women, and our children. We are far, far away from home. We left everything. Todo. But this is our new home, and this is our children's country, and now this is our families. And our responsibility now is to build our daughters to be a strong, powerful woman for this country, for our country, the God's land. Thank you.